wanted to show you my latest Emerson acquisition. This is the Emerson Tiger, a knife that once, once Ernest Emerson designed it, he carried in his pocket as his EDC for years, apparently. And I see why. This is a great all-arounder. It's a clip point, which is a very, very useful blade shape. Uh, it's also quite aggressive. So you could use this uh, as a fighter. And I think that is what its main intent is, like purebred fighter. But what does that mean to you and I, you and me, who don't fight with knives? Well, it means you have an extremely aggressive uh, knife that is meant to stay in your hands um, no matter what. Now, that all translates into a great utility knife, if you ask me, because it doesn't matter what you're doing with it. You want the knife to stay in your hand, and it doesn't matter what you're doing with it. You want the knife to cut aggressively. So whether you're fighting with it or opening boxes with it, opening boxes is what I've done with it. You can see a little bit of tape on the tip, and that is about it. I've stropped it. Uh, I have not stropped this one. I've shaved a little arm hair and that kind of thing. It's new. I, I will do stuff with it eventually, but, uh, but you want those things in a knife, no matter what you're doing with it. Good ergonomics that stay in your hand and a, an aggressive blade that cuts, that cuts with very little urging. This cuts with very little urging. Thanks to something I've been noticing in my recent, uh, in recently built Emersons. Um, and I don't know if this runs concurrent with when they went single detent or, or what the deal is here. Well, that, yeah, that counts too. These four Emersons are the most recent ones. Oh, also my Elvia that falls in this category also. But recent Emersons that have unbelievably sharp blades, unbelievably sharp. And I think what they're doing now is backing up the relief or the cutting edge a little bit. Now look at this compared to this. See the difference in, in the size and the steepness of the grind? Look at the steepness at the tips of the CQC 13 versus the Tiger. It's the same, it's the same blade stock but you have a much more shallow grind on the Tiger than you do on this older 2013 CQC 13. It's a much steeper angle on that cutting edge. And uh, incidentally, this is just way sharper than this. I've been able to get this pretty darn sharp and uh, <laughs> it'll more than do in a pinch, but what they've been doing lately by making that angle a much more shallow angle is just making these knives insanely sharp. Um, here, this Appalachian that I bought from Slicey is the same thing. This was the first knife I noticed that on. Uh, just look at how big that relief edge is, that, that cutting edge. Now let's compare that to the old. Look at that, there's a the radical difference there. And this is way sharper, just because of that thinness behind the edge factor, which still counts for a chisel ground cutting edge. Now, like most Emersons, since we're talking about the Tiger, I'll bring that back up. Uh, like most Emersons, this is V ground all the way till to the edge, which is chisel ground. And that chisel grind really, you know, is a sharpness thing. It really makes the knife sharper or I should say, it just really makes the knife very, very sharp. Uh, you might find that it tracks differently through material. If you're cutting it, you might have to readjust ever so slightly so that you go straight um, uh, straight through it, which might be a little bit easier to do on a, on a blade that is, uh, whose cutting edge is symmetrical. Uh, but this is helped out by the V-grind uh, primary bevel. That'll help keep you on track pretty much. Let me get these out of the way and just leave that uh, leave that CQC 13 out and do a, a little bit of a comparison here. Now, you see it's got the same handle and the same handle shape. This is a great one. This is a great one. And I've seen this handle also with a Tanto on it. Doesn't look right. This handle, Bowie, yeah. 
Okay, let's look at some of the differences. This is, uh, I think this was made in 20, uh, 2020, and this one was made in 2013. So about seven years difference. Uh, going past the serrations, let's look at those relief edges again, the, the, those cutting edges. Much steeper on this, leading to less effective cutting, in my opinion. In, in my experience, I should say. Look at the difference in the clips. I love, I love the 13 for that beautiful, swooping, menacing clip. Here, you have a less severe clip, and that adds a little bit more stoutness at the point. Uh, this could slip through atoms, you know, and this one, this one too, but you got a lot more, a lot more material right behind the tip. And then let's look at these waves. Look at how much smaller the older wave is. And uh, look at how big and capacious that scooped out area is compared to this. This, you have to work a little bit harder to make sure it snags on your pants. This one, you have to work hard to make sure it doesn't. Like if you want to draw this without, without waving it, you definitely uh, need to put a finger there. I mean, that's what you have to do with most Emersons. If you just want to pull them out and not deploy them with the, with the, with the hooking wave there on your pocket, you should just grab it and put a finger over the blade so it doesn't open on the way out. I learned that the hard way, of course, on one of my ZT Emersons. This wave looks more like the waves they put on those ZT Emersons, just bigger with a less pointy tip there. And, um, you know, you're more likely to draw it and, and have it deploy than not. Ergonomics of this are fantastic. Feels great in hand. Um, you just want to squeeze it when you have it in hand and push your thumb up into that ramp. And uh, mm, 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 mm. feels good in the hammer grip. Excellent reverse grip. You've got the, uh, the horn up here or the, the pommel to put your, your thumb over. And uh, and all of that. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, this G10 here comes very aggressive from the factory. Uh, not cold steel aggressive, which has a bigger pattern on it. So when this aggressive stuff comes out, I know they've tamed theirs in recent years, but this is like sandpaper. And so what I do when I get a new Emerson is I take the clip off and I take sandpaper and I knock it down. It's hard to tell that I did that visually. Uh, I guess you can see. But it really makes a difference in coming in and out of the pocket. You don't hear that <laughs> sawing sound, and it doesn't trash your pockets quite as quickly. And then I find when I do that, I carry them way more often. So uh, that's what I did with this. There's a little schmutz right there. Sorry about that. It drives me nuts when I don't clean these things before I show them off, but you know, I, I so, so barely use my knives anyway that I don't think to do it. And, uh, yeah. Um, so there it is with the 13 beautiful knives. This has uh, handle scales by blades and such. Tom Engelson is his name. He's on Instagram blades and such. Uh, he does this cool cross hatching and, uh, you know, this is obviously canvas micarta. He also does the backspacer. And he's the guy who, who made the handle for my Elvia also. One thing I would like to do on almost all of my models uh, of Emerson, but of course I'm not gonna do this and I've, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna go buy doubles of all of them, but how cool would this also be without that wave? If, if it were like this, that would also be incredibly cool. And it would be a great place to put your thumb right on the back of the blade there and have that swoop down. I've, I've been interested in trying that, but I'm just, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna destroy these, these great knives, um, just in case. This one actually wouldn't, wouldn't really benefit from, from no wave. This is the Iron Dragon. It's a titanium frame lock on bearings, a rare, a rarity for Emerson. Got this from Alex at Alex's Knife Box. He put the, uh, he put a uh, special opener on it, and now I am blanking on who that is. You all know who it is. Put it in the comments, please. The, I love the domed pivot. 
And I understand now they're putting a dome pivot on the other side on some of the special models. Um, I'm not sure how that works. So let me just show this off with a couple of other clip points by Emerson, and then we are. We're, oh, I guess I already did. Okay, well, there it is. It's my newest and latest Emerson obsession. It is the Tiger, and I love it. And I can't wait till it's fully broken in. Of course, you can do this, and it's all good. But when I mean fully broken in, it'll take a minute for that lock stick to go away. But it will. It always does. All right, everybody. This is the Emerson Tiger, and thanks for watching.